Hey folks, today we're playing Last Hope Bunker Zombie Survival. We're going to hop right in. If you haven't been under a rock for the last 50 years, you know about a zombie survival situation. This one, in particular, it's about virus stuff getting out and vaccine that were supposed to help the situations, and apparently didn't. That would never happen. Don't worry. Nothing like that is ever possible. Definitely the institutions in charge of our planet are looking out for our best interests. They would never unleash any viruses or anything. Yep. Nothing to worry about. Zombies. All right. So we're going to get right into it. She's going to tell us about how we are awake and we made it through stuff. And we're going to go ahead and be told to pick up some gear. So right away, we're going to run over, pick up the gear. You have stamina. You have a respirator uh, filter check. Basically, that is your time limit in game. This is this initially looks like uh, from some of the, the way some of the things uh, appear, like it might be a stealth survival game. It is not, because if you're going to be stealthy, you're not going to get stuff done fast enough. And that's really got, really not going to work out well for you. So, turning off my light there. Going to kind of move through this a little quickly. Okay, so we want to avoid stepping on the spores. And there we go. We took that one out. If you melee or get a stealth kill, you can kill them very quietly. this one go across see as you see our blue bar is just going away so the entire time this is telling us especially police cars have have stuff but yeah every time you see police cars the boxes pick stuff up these items are used for crafting later you will find out about that when you specifically rescue somebody so in general, you can do some rolls and occasional sprinting, and you can stay ahead of them. So as you see, we're not taking any damage. All right, these clusters, they will just keep respawning. You'll keep getting more and more zombies. So you have two options. Get past them fast or destroy them. We're going to get past them fast. All right, that worked out okay. We're gonna give ourselves a bandage and we took out a decent amount. As you can see, our respirator got pretty low in that. So let's go ahead. Um, it's telling us we need to use a filter. So that's that's number two. So we pop that, we have a certain amount of them. All right, I think we got some stuff that we can pick up in here, yeah. You see boxes, hit them up. Boxes are important. We awakened a zombie over there, but they are, if it's one, you can kind of just hop, skip like that. Yeah, you can kite it. Exactly. So, yeah, I think there's nothing else really important. Let's check the map. We're going to want to get down to here and um, be able to get through that area. Ideally, at some point, we will get a better melee weapon, and then we'll be able to chunk them a little bit faster. But, ooh, ooh, ooh. all right, we're just going to end up drawing some with that. Oh, 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 okay, we uh, got stuck there. Okay, let's uh, bandage up. 
and we will need to replace our filter. Yeah, don't get stuck on stuff. Indeed. As he's being very helpful in the background, making sure that I, you know, do stuff like don't get stuck on stuff. I mean, I definitely wouldn't have picked up on that. Thank you, Hazzy. You are invaluable. So, right here... Oh, whatever. Um, right here, we got a bunch of boxes that we can come in and get. So, we're going to do that real quickly. The... The items in-game are, at times, worth it for you to divert your attention in order to pick stuff up. And you get stuff like this note. I'm Thomas Reed, I'm 46, my teeth have started to bleed, I can't stop it. Every morning my pillow is covered in blood, my gaze has become more glassy, and I often lose my balance. Yeah, you should go see the dentist. I'm sure that'll take care of it. Definitely nothing serious. Anyways, you get micro circuits, like you've been seeing, um, which we can do for like high-end upgrades and being being able to be to trade it in for uh, whatchamacallit words for metal yes and so we keep working on that we'll be um shoot them buddy here needs some help this is the one that i was talking about where uh once you've helped him out uh you will have somebody for helping with your inventory crafting and whatever so we're just gonna loot everything through here and then we're going to take care of his problem. I'm going to reload beforehand so that we have a full clip. All right, there we go. We got it taken care of. Let's go ahead and pick up the stuff that was dropped. We got some metal and we will talk to dude, bruh. Hey, dude, bruh. Oh, thank God, I thought it was done for. We're out of ammo. Are you hurt? Feeling dizzy? He's going to go, and he'll be at your uh, base camp area. Be able to help with crafting. So, yep, see? You can go back to the bunker and craft stuff. There we go. We bandaged, and we did a new filter. So, like I said, the filters are the thing that makes it so that you can't really do this slowly. And now... We have another travel point unlocked. So if you take a look, we got this one, this one. We unlock this one. We'll be pretty set. So if you die, it just makes you come back. Some amount of what you've killed that's been dead for a while might respawn. The the immediately the stuff that you've killed like in the last couple few minutes normally won't respawn. So you're good on that. But um, getting the travel points um, are kind of safe spots, and you don't really get to save in the same sort of way unless you do that or and or like exit the game you can't just like exit the game from right here and then pop up and be as an example those ones were all kind of clueless ran through that and took a little bit of a hit. I'm gonna have to run by this one. We're gonna have a decent sized group by the time we get over here. Seen anything else on the map? Luckily, they show up as red and all that, so that's good. Another note, they are everywhere. I hid in the basement, but they heard me. One of them scratched at the door for so long and nearly lost my mind. It's eyes. I see them through the crack. I'm trying not to move, but my legs. Something. So it's just kind of giving you some story sound bites. It's kind of like, uh, gosh, what is the name of that zombie survival where, like, there's a whole bunch of crafting and it has, like, a raccoon as the... Yeah, Project Zomboid. Yeah, it it, it kind of gives um, details in that same sort of way. Let's go ahead and put in a new clip. Magazine, technically. All right, we got to do a new filter. Patch up. 
go. All right. Remember to exercise proper discipline with your firearms. You don't need to do more than um, necessary. It normally takes just two shots for most of these. Now, this uh, building here is uh, an amazing spot for being able to get... There's a stealth kill, by the way. But yes, you don't always have to play as I did, but as you can see, like they often have them facing directions in ways that make it kind of difficult to uh, be able to get a lot of stealth kills. And then you're, you're losing your uh, filter the whole while as that's happening. So that's... Yeah, if you're slow on the stealth kills, you'll pay for it. As he's actually adding useful information. He's somewhere else, so it's different. All right. All right. Okay. And so the ones that are outside, um, they would have to take the path that we took to be able to get up here. So it's actually it's actually fairly safe in here. The the kitchen when we get down to that oh filter again. The kitchen when we get down to that you will see that that is just like loaded with stuff. Yeah, somebody had a bad time in this room. I'd at least clean up after you. Like a like a freaking Taco Bell restroom, and one of these days we're gonna get uh, decent assist from Taco Bell after bashing them. So. I do. I like Taco Bell. I'm. I just, you know, it's it doesn't always play well with others, with their stomachs, indeed. All right. I think there was a little bit to be able to loot out here. No, there isn't. So they have this this entirely closed off. So if you take a look right here, this is the area that I was talking about as far as the kitchen. Like this is just loaded up. Everywhere you look, stuff to open, stuff to pick up. Still not done yet, even with all that. And then we got some more over here. So yes, this is kind of a waste of time to some degree. I've noticed strange ulcers on my skin, quick spreadly, or they spread quickly. I can words. Forgot actions I just took a few minutes ago. See, that's just, that's just being old. That's, that's not a big deal. When you're old, you forget what you did recently. It doesn't mean you're a zombie. Anyway, this area is, in my opinion, actually worth it to completely clean out because of how many drops. Filter again. Go. Get this, and we're done. So, let's take a real quick look at what we came with on inventory. We are doing okay on ammo. We got 10 micro circuits. Is this uh, like an 8 on metal, 11 on rags, and broken micro circuits? We're doing okay too. So, you know, things aren't bad. We're still sitting on 8 filters and still sitting on 8 bandages. So, we're doing well. Things are going okay. This is how you get out of the, out of the place. You got to specifically go on that. All right, from here, here's our location. You're the player. We're gonna want to swing around and do this and work our way south, if I recall. I think that's, I think that's how we do it. Although we might wanna hit up, you could see from above that these are police cars. So we'll, we'll actually do some detour getting the police. They uh, very frequently. This. So um, I actually could have done a stealth kill even though I wasn't thinking it. So I, I just learned something. We'll try to remember that in the future. Oh, just as I was saying, hey, uh, the police cars often have stuff, then it's like, nope, not this one. 
trying to make me a liar. Okay, that that did not happen to be able to be a stealth kill. All right, but we're getting some ammo. We'll get to the next couple cop cars. What do we got here? Oh, another note. Started to notice I'm losing weight. Food no longer appeals to me. I often feel nauseous. My eyes start to turn yellow, and it seems I'm he my hearing has gotten worse. Ben Griffin. Oh, I think that was a um, character that was left out, a uh, Family Guy, and uh, you know. We now know why. A zombie in the show probably, you know, just wouldn't have been the same. They already had a talking baby and stuff. You can't you can't make it entirely unreal. Okay. And then this is actually a path that you can cut through. Oh, do another filter. This is actually a path that you can cut through. Back up to where we were here gonna be sneaky these ones have people come out of them and there we go heading further along yes you cannot get through this I know it's just a little bit of railing but you have to go that way so we have several more of the quest items to be able to hit. Uh, they are the radio towers and whatever. And from where we're at, we're gonna head down over here, 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 and I think it kind of like cuts through somewhere in there. Let's go! And as you can see, when you're sprinting, you lose your stamina. I haven't checked to see if it actually makes you use your filter quicker. It would make sense if it did. I haven't specifically taken Go ahead and sneak up. That's a noise that it makes when you stealth kill. Alright. Don't want to step on these. And there's a fair amount of them. Get them all lined up. Oh, come on. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and get a reload to... Uh, where are we at? 445 rounds. That's not doing bad. We're not... All right, so don't step on the yellow things. Try to avoid the weird smokiness. Hit our filter again, because we're going through them. Do a quest. Here we go. Look at that thing going. Way to go, us. All right. If I remember correctly, there was nothing down in this shed. Yeah, it's it's just bait. It's bait, folks. Trying to make you look in it. All right. So, oh yeah. Uh, we need to get back and do this one. I'm rushing through areas. I need to backtrack. Okay. So. We got some big ones here. All right, let's fix ourselves up. Micro circuits, other stuff. Another note, my wounds are not healing, even small cuts continue to bleed for days, and I feel like I hear strange noises in my head. Yeah, that happens, dude. Don't worry about it. Not a sign of anything greater. Okay. Obviously, you don't want to come to me for medical advice. At least zombie-related. I'm going to tell you things are fine, and then I'm going to get the hell away from you. Okay. We're going to head towards this one. I mean, it's nothing personal. It's just, psh, I don't need that in my life. Yeah. Oh, filter going again. So, we got like a big pack of them right over here. And we got a quest thing that we got to do. So, let's reload our mag. All right, that worked out okay. 
took out a good amount of them. Let's go ahead and bandage up, just for the hell of it. Because we did get a little low. We're doing okay on bandages. And we need to... So this one, you kind of have to be a little bit more cautious on where you're walking. Uh, there. And that... The one in the back, that is bait. Like, you can't get to it without, without popping one of these. So it's up to you if you want to take the hit. All right. Yeah, and there was nothing. Okay. We will carry on. That'll take us here. Now you might think, what the hell is he doing trying to stealth and stuff with a light on? It really doesn't seem to make a difference. So, you know, why not? If it makes no difference, Go with whatever helps you more. So, while I was doing this previously, I did not mess with this bit. I mean, I'm sure you can go and get some certain loot, but I did not see it as being worthwhile. Okay. We can keep stutter-stepping uh, situation like that. On, can we get it? there stealth kill, and we're bumping him literally. Okay, like we were literally moving him around. <laughs> That's fine. Um, this one I think I could actually sneak, except the ones on the other side. They notice me though. Go. All right, we got a couple stealth kills. Good for us. And as I was saying, I don't feel the need to hit that stuff down below. That's just a whole bunch of bad. Like, I don't know, maybe if I had a shotgun or something that did good AoE damage, but that just seems like too many. And it has the things that keep repopping them. So it's like, I don't need that life. Or their death. Okay, um, crap. I activated it anyways. I did not do that last time. I did not know that um, that the uh, <laughs> the oil containers that they are so hyperactive. I mean, it makes sense, but I just I never activated it last time. Maybe I was just a little bit luckier. Anyways, as you could see, they all started following up. Um, since we already have it, let's. Oh, really? Okay, well, we're going to break them into groups. Okay, reload. Slowly step back and go. Yeah, see, it's just make it's making too many of them. So, I don't I don't think this is worth it. To learn from that mistake. Don't do it. We're at an edge here. Uh, speaking of the cop cars and their stuff, look at that. More ammo. So you can come all the way down here. This, and then you're at the edge of the map. So after that, we got a little bit more to go back and do. We're going to need to pop a filter here soon. Down to like six. By the way, as you upgrade your things, you can get better filter. We're just not. And there, we had to replace our filter. What's happening? Go, got that. My name is Debbie. I've been running from them all day. My legs can't move anymore. I'm hiding behind the old barrier by the highway. They can hear me. I can feel their hungry gazes on me. My hand hurts as I write. I'm finding it hard to breathe. Vision, everything blurry. You're fine, lady. Don't worry. It's gonna be all right. Just hand me any ammo you have, and we'll find a way for you to carry on. Oh, disappointing cop car. All right. Um. Yeah. 
think they're looking this way enough. Mm, this might be problem. Yep, this is a problem. Okay. Oh, great. Now we got one over there, too. Okay, so let's just self kill. No, come on, dude. Fine, fine. All right, go for this. There we go. And we get some rags out of that. Activate this. Where are we at on those? Is that the last one? Oh, we got one more here. Head up. Uh, we're losing our filter very quickly because of where we're standing in the bad. Stand in the bad. Played an MMO, you already know this. You played most games. Probably know this. If you're still alive, you probably know this. Hopefully you're still alive if you're watching. If you're watching as an undead, comment below. I would really like to hear from our undead viewers, fans, whatever. Kazzy is cracking up now. I just I just unleashed the comedy gold for her. Okay. So we got out of that. Yes, all living dead girls, please respond. Not Rob Zombie here, but we'll we'll do our best. Come on. That stealth kill was showing up. There we go. Alright. Now this one. Alright, we took a hit. Get up on this one. We're gonna we're gonna do one of these right. There we go. See, pro moves. And we're gonna unlock another travel location so now we've unlocked every travel location way to go us pro moves like i said there's no disputing it now okay can we sneak in between the group oh look yeah, come on there i need this I need the icon to pop or you can actually do it all right we need to get a filter going okay. did i just run right by it Oh my god, I think I did. I think I ran by the most obvious uh, one of them. Well, good job, Nord. <laughs> yep! Alright, there we go, 5 out of 5 activated. Now that is, once again, pro moves. I totally, totally wanted to leave that one for last. It wasn't just like somebody being a goofball, messing things up. Yeah, Hazzy's really laughing because I played this like only a little bit beforehand to make sure I was ready. And it's just like, pff, not good enough. All right, travel point. So here we are back at our place. Person with the um, interesting clothing. Alex, the tower's up and running. We've got communication. Good job, Captain. It's a major step forward. What's the situation out there? There's a massive zombie, cl a zombie cluster near the city outskirts. I've never seen anything like it. We need to plan. I think Dr. Ziegler can provide you with more information on this topic. Topic. Blah. Top lick. Don't do a top lick. Maybe not even a bottom lick. Doc, we've got a massive zombie cluster in the outskirts. I don't know how to handle this. And Alex told me that you have some ideas. I've been studying their behavior. For some time, I worked on a viral suppressant. We can release it into these clusters. It might neutralize the zombies and destroy its nest. Better than nothing, I'll give them a shot. Be careful, Captain. Okay. So we're ready to proceed. But let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, additional thing with the crafting. So we can take the broken circuit boards and um, turn them into one metal. We can take the regular circuit boards, turn them into two metal. Um, we can get a micro circuit out of broken micro circuits. The axe is what we already have. The bat costs 80 metal, machete 50 Crowbar 30. So I'm thinking the bat's probably the best, you know, if, if, if we're going off of video game logic there. And I'm trying to. Really trying. So, 
Enhanced respirator. Look at this. We got a basic one. It takes a basic plus these things to make it enhanced. So we did it. Oh my gosh, we could do a mid-range. Booyah. So we're just, we're moving right up. We'll, we have a little bit that we're going to have to go for a high quality and a premium, but watch this. Do you see? Oh, it already did it. 600 freaking filter health now. So way to go us. That, that makes this game that was very, very, very oriented like a, um, like a, whatchamacallit, a rush because of your lack of filtered stuff. Now we have tons of filtered stuff, so we're good. We're good. We have our quests. We have a lot of ammo. And we got three filters. Oof. Yeah, that's good enough. All right. Quest is down here. I think that's the fastest travel point to get to it. So we we come out through this. Yeah. Right. You don't notice anything. You don't notice anything. Yeah. Told you you didn't notice anything. See, I'm even helpful with zombies. I told them nothing was there. I mean, up at Big cluster. Don't notice. Oh my god. That's a fun. Oh, destroy. There we go. Go up and hit an E on them to destroy them. Couple more. Now, problematically, this thing just keeps spawning them. We gotta we gotta get to this cluster. Ah, there we go. Okay, so while that's happening. While that is happening, we are able to get it in. Try to get to this thing in. Try to get to this, put the thing in. There we go. 